So people have been asking me to uh, to do a Emacs. Uh, to, people want to see how I work in Emacs. So I'm going to show you one today. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, this is my HTML file and starting up my browser Firefox. So this is my web blog. Uh, I'm going to update my uh, JavaScript web dev blog. Um, you see there's this one Java JavaScript floating floating box uh, following scroll and I want to update the code. Uh, this code is uh, before uh, ES 2015 so I want to update it to uh, 2015 code. You know you see these these are using vars. I'm going to change them to constant. So so this this is my Emacs and this is the file. So I'm ju I'm just going to work through it. Um, so open the file, and this is the file. First, first of all, I want to see this file in Safari. So you see, if I scroll down, the box follows. So it's working. Uh, in Firefox, it's not working because I have JavaScript turned off. So, uh, so go back to the file. Um, so first of all, update the date with a backup and let's see so I want to okay so there's this okay there's this code section but first of all I want to see where is the JavaScript file um, oh, there it is so this is file and this is a directory so I'm checking if it's running um, TypeScript it's not so make a backup and uh, just start changing so you see this is very old code so I'm going to use a f um, okay I don't even need the function block so delete that need that okay so bar function Okay, let's let's see if that works. It may not because okay, it's not because because some of these are not constants because I'm updating them. Uh, one second, that that let's just switch to indented. Oh, you need to call it. That's why. So, uh, wait. Uh, all right. So, move to update frequency. Change factor. Offset from top moving widget div so this should be led probably there it is so okay now the code is working copy it close it and go back to the code here and this is paste it here delete that And now just HTMLize it. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. So that should be it. Let's go back to Safari. Yes. So, well, usually I have to read the whole thing through, you know, just to make sure, um, you know, if there's any update I need to do, like uh, changes in JavaScript or documentation or whatever. But for the for this video, um, yeah, you see here, this is incorrect. So because the code has changed, there's no longer that uh, eval in place. So anyway, but I'm going to just close this and wrap this up. So create a new section date and uh, copy the uh, URL, put the tag, remove the white space, and that's it. If you look at, you see, um, this is the updated um, blog. And now I just need to, um, because I'm using RSS, there's RSS going on, so I, I need to update a uh, Atom file. So I just press the key, and that's it. Close it, save it, and now I go to eShell. Um, eShell, um, so now I async to my server, password. So that should be it. Okay, now if you go to um, Xaweb, uh, Xari Info, Web Dev, there it is. So, so, so that's it. So that's how I update my website. Um, thank you for watching. That's it for now. So I'm going to do probably I'm, I'll do more, and I, I'm probably going to do a do one for Xaflight keys and all my Emacs stuff. Um, okay, bye.